Korea saw the two sides pledge to rid the peninsula of nuclear weapons before year's end. Apart from nuclearization, I should say denuclearization, the states agreed on Friday to formally end the Korean War, which of course dates back to over half a century. They vowed to sign a peace treaty, agreeing to involve the U.S. and China in the process. Now, the American president, Donald Trump, was quick to take credit for the easing of tensions on the peninsula, with supporters saying he should now get the Nobel Peace Prize. In his latest tweet, he suggested he's more deserving than the previous U.S. presidential recipient, Barack Obama. And at a rally on Saturday, his fans seem to agree. The denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula of North Korea. The denuke. Denuke. That's very nice. Thank you. RT's Igor Zhdanov now takes a closer look at whether Donald Trump does deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. The Nobel Peace Prize, an award for human rights champions, peacekeepers and presidents who would later drop at least 26,000 bombs on seven foreign nations in just one year. The prize is clearly viewed as such a meaty addition to Donald Trump's track record that someone under a stolen identity actually forged his nomination for the award two years in a row. Supporters of the idea have named the negotiations between the Koreas as Trump's main qualification for real this time. Now they were saying, what do you think uh, President Trump had to do with it? I'll tell you what, like how about everything? And as we've been told, Trump has the best words and those he applied to North Korea directly. He is a sick puppy. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. Obviously, he's a pretty smart cookie. We all saw that intricate game of diplomacy. We will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. They will be met with fire and fury. Witness Trump acing that whole quid pro quo thing. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful. And I will say this, he is doing the wrong thing. He's making a big mistake. Let's be frank, those who call Trump a peacemaker more or less share the logic of those who nicknamed this shotgun a persuader. Trump's style of making peace equally applies to Iran. The government that gives terrorists safe harbor, financial backing, I am speaking, of course, of Iran. The rogue regime. Iran can sprint towards a rapid nuclear weapons breakout. Nowhere, no matter where you go in the Middle East, you see the fingerprints of Iran behind problems. For goodness sake, he appointed as national security advisor a man who just last year thought this was a good idea. And that's why before 2019, we here will celebrate in Tehran. Thank you very much. Syria's felt the full impact of Trump's peacemaking. If things keep going the way they are, the country will be celebrating the annual Tomahawk Day sometime around mid-spring. But again, maybe a Nobel Peace Prize and Trump do fit together at the end of the day. After all, why does Obama get to have all the nice things? We spoke to Max Blumenthal, a journalist and author. He believes the improvement in relations on the Korean Peninsula actually has nothing to do with Donald Trump. Donald Trump's policy towards the Koreas has been one of hostility, of sanctions, of threats, of fire and fury. His defense minister, Jim Mattis, threatened North Korea with uh, extermination. And their policy essentially failed uh, because nuclearization in North Korea succeeded, because Kim Jong-un extended an olive branch to the south, and because Moon Jae-in has been so courageous in his efforts to uh, reconcile with the North. And so, uh, really, the calls for Donald Trump to receive a Nobel Prize really reflect how insular and parochial uh, the view of right wing, his right wing supporters is. Uh, Donald Trump has really not played a role in the uh, events 